In this video you will learn a front-end developer roadmap for 2024. And the sponsor of this video is Upload Care. If you want to make possible files uploading on your website, you typically need to build front-end, back-end, storing files on either your server or uploading them to CDN. And it's a lot of work. If you want to implement Upload directly from Google Drive or Dropbox, it's even more work. Upload Care solves all these problems at once, and just in several lines of code, you can get all these things out of the box. If you want to check Upload Care, there is a link in the description box below. And if you're a beginner and you don't know what you should learn to progress as a developer, and if your choices are correct, this video is for you. So I assume that you want to become a front-end developer, and actually this is a really nice choice, because front-end nowadays is needed in every single company which are making any websites at all. They might use on the backend different languages like Java, PHP, Ruby, Node.js, but on client they will always have JavaScript, which actually means front-end developers are needed for almost every single company, and this is a high demanding job. So what do you need to know as a front-end developer? First of all, obviously HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And for HTML and CSS, I highly recommend you to just build markup for several websites on your own with and without frameworks. For example, I already made a full video how we are building a Twitter clone page just with CSS and HTML. After you are done with that, obviously you must learn JavaScript. Why that? Because this is the only language which exists inside front-end world. Yes, we have things like TypeScript, but it is still being transpiled to JavaScript at the end, because JavaScript is the only thing that is being executed inside browsers. So knowing JavaScript on a good level is a bread and butter and you really must focus there. But it is not all. In last years we can see that traction is going in the direction of TypeScript. And here is the most popular question that I am getting from my students. Do I really need to learn JavaScript or I need to start with TypeScript directly or do we need TypeScript at all for our programming? Here is the most important point. JavaScript is needed and you can't really skip it and just jump to the TypeScript. TypeScript is being built with JavaScript. If you don't know JavaScript, you can't really master TypeScript. And additionally, TypeScript is just a sugar with data types around JavaScript. It is not a separate language at all, which actually means First you are focusing on learning JavaScript, and only after you know it on a good level, you invest your time in TypeScript. Now the question is, do you really need to invest your time in the TypeScript? And my answer here is yes, if you already mastered CSS, HTML and JavaScript. Why that? Because TypeScript is extremely popular and if you know it, you are more valuable developer for the company where they are using it. And now let's talk about front-end frameworks. We have lots of them like React, Angular, Vue, Svelte and others. But here I really want you to focus not on hyped frameworks. You don't need to pick something like SolidJS because it is super performant or maybe Svelte because it is also like new and popular. Please pick some framework which is really popular and with which you can earn money. And here I would pick either React or Angular. And the most popular question that I am getting, obviously, should I pick React or Angular? I can't answer you that question, because I have no idea where you are living and what is the demand in your city. If you are not planning to work remotely, you just need to check vacancies in your city, where you are planning to work in the companies. If you find only React there and zero Angular, does it make sense to learn Angular? Obviously no. You must focus on the framework where you can find job in your city. And some people might argue here, ok, this is just a framework, I can easily jump from one to another. Sure, experienced developer can jump from one framework to another, but the differences are still quite huge and the ecosystem is not small, which actually means you need to learn quite a lot. So I highly recommend you to focus on just single framework based on demand in your city. And please don't pick some framework where you can find just a single job, like maybe Svelte. It can be a good start for you, but it might happen later than after one or two years, when you try to switch job, you can't find any companies which are doing Svelte, for example. But you see only companies with React or Angular. 
which actually means it makes a lot of sense to invest in the framework, which is heavily used in lots of companies, so you can easily switch your job. So if you can do HTML, CSS, JavaScript, plus TypeScript, plus one framework, like maybe React, you are already quite good to find the job. But to make it even more polished, I highly recommend you to invest some time in learning state management for your framework. And the solution like Redux, which is actually framework agnostic, is a really nice idea. For example, if we are talking about Angular, you might want to learn NGRX, and with React it can be plain Redux. Most importantly, such state management solution really can help you to improve your code and you will be able to implement scalable applications. If you know everything that I named here, you probably can easily find a front-end job. But it should not end just there, you might want to improve your knowledge even further. It doesn't really make sense to spend more time on the front-end, but it makes sense to look for example on back-end, APIs, authentication, databases and so on. Why is that if you are planning to work as a front-end developer? You can be much more experienced if you know how your project communicates with the backend, how the data flow is happening, what people on the backend are doing at all. How you can communicate with your backend developers in the company efficiently if you have no idea how it all works together. It doesn't really make sense. This is why when you improve your knowledge of the ecosystem around your frontend, you are becoming more knowledgeable. And then at some point you might want to switch from the frontend to full stack if you want to do that. For example, if you have lots of experience with Angular on the frontend and with Java on the backend, there are some jobs which are really highly paid. And here you might want to ask me what backend language or framework to pick as the first choice. And here I want to recommend you MongoDB and Node.js. Why that? These are the easiest solutions to just jump there, because you already know JavaScript. Yes, things are different on the backend, but at least you don't really need to learn one more language. And if you know these concepts with Node.js and MongoDB, it is much easier to learn other stuff like maybe Java and MySQL later. And the last point that is super important, you must understand how to build the project from scratch to the end to the production. Which actually means you should not create just client side, but also backend side, deploy your project and bind domain to that. If you don't really know the full flow from start to the end, how you can work as a developer. Which actually means you must invest some time in learning at least basics of deployment like configuring your server or uploading your project to your server. From technologies here, just start with the basics, you don't really need anything fancy, and Jinx and the plain chip server is totally fine, but if you want to learn it deeper and make more efficient, I highly recommend you to invest some time in the Docker, this is really an amazing solution to build isolated projects. And if you know a lot from this list, but you are missing TypeScript knowledge, I have a full free video here on YouTube regarding TypeScript interview questions.